recording. Okay, I've been home for maybe five minutes now. It's all complete ice. Look at that. Just a complete coating of ice. Almost completely built up through there. It's got the road salts or whatever else as well. So, complete. I don't know if you can see the handguard is complete. One big icicle. And, uh, Nice smooth coating of, of quite thick ice, or it seems to be. And of course, the helmet. I was rubbing to try and keep a clear section, and then when you get slowed down, you, you, it's stuck. I can't get it open. Of course, it's frozen. It's completely. That little guy's still going. My phone uh, powered down. I ran out of juice in my phone bags completely frozen soft bags and they're just about as solid as could be zing this thing rode strapped on here the whole way that thermos all the way up to Kansas City there for about an hour all the way back in the back all the ice and everything no insulation around it just the thermos still hot coffee Probably not enough light to see that one's not quite as bad as the other side. My uh, hands, though I'm sure they're clear now, is my summer gloves. I uh, tape and then some duct tape over the paper tape. A little bit of ice left that you can see. Okay. They were just completely frozen. You can still move them, but barely. So, there you go. Yeah, I made it. Just barely. This is starting to come off now. Oh, there we go. I've been sitting in the garage for about five minutes while I took my coat off and the cat out and found a, I found a camera that worked. That is not cool. 70 miles per hour. You end up find, catching yourself looking at all the water spray on the roads from the other cars, tires, and uh, just thinking, hoping you continue to see that because that means the, water, the moisture on the road isn't frozen yet. Stuff gets super cooled. Okay, that's a little shaky. I realize I know I'm freezing. Okay, so, there you go. Fun, entertaining. Love you. Bye.